Hello everybody and welcome back to Mara Mana Farm. So, many things to say today. Uh, first of all, there has been an update for the Dudes Far Tractor just over here. Uh, it has had a sound update, so it's much quieter, but also it's had uh, some internal lighting changes and a few other things too. I think you can also customise the colour. Um, so yeah, that is much better. Let's just uh, demonstrate it. Should be noticeably quieter. So there we go. Should be good. Uh, so that's going to be nice because I have to keep adjusting the volume in the future. Anyway, yep. Yeah, next thing is the field just over here. I have the great big field with with all the grass swaths in it. I have decided what the best thing to do is with it. Basically, because um, obviously we know the DLC is coming, the best thing to do is to bale it as just grass, uh, which was my intention anyway. But then to just pick up the bales as grass and then use the inline wrapper to create a long sausage of, uh, yes, fermented silage bells. Uh, I don't know if sausage was the best uh, word there, but yeah, you know, a long line, a tube. Uh, it, it's probably not going to be a tube, though, because they're going to be square bales. So yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Square sausage? Nah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just like a wall. Yeah, there we go. A fermented silage wall. So that's going to be done later in this episode, the, the baling of it. And uh, I think we're actually going to make this uh, signage wall over at the new property, which is where we're going to be to begin with today. I need to go over there. But first, what I need to do is take the quad bike over to the farm just over here, just to store it, and I need to grab a tractor, possibly even the Deutsch Fahr actually, and go and fetch a trailer, which I have just recently purchased. It does look good, it's from Modhub, so it should be a nice machine to use. It's basically to transport the compact tractor around, or the utility tractor. Right, okay, that should be alright. There we go. Actually, it's really dirty. Not much point in buying a pressure washer here, though, since this farm is going to be sold fairly soon. Uh, so yeah, we'll get a pressure washer set up at the house. The other thing I need to look at is a driveway, or a road, close to our driveway at the farm, or at the, uh, the new farm. Uh, apparently there is a really good way into Finnumber 7? Yeah, the field we're going to buy. Yeah, Finnumber 7. So that is another thing I need to do. But yeah, the primary job for the house today is going to be to do some rotivating, maybe some ploughing, a bit of lawn care. I need to get all those horrible bushes out of the lawn and get the, the grass reseeded. Uh, so that is my plan. That's what we're going to be doing. So, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I do need to do that baling as well later. Now obviously this is the trailer I've just purchased, and it's not really the appropriate vehicle to be towing with. What I want ideally is a pickup truck or some other vehicle. I have noticed that in the testing page on ModHub, they do currently have the Lizard Rumbler van, which is basically a Ford Transit, which is perfect. I could tow this trailer with a Ford Transit, no problem at all. So that would be a, a really great thing to do. But obviously it's not out just yet, but it should be out fairly soon, hopefully, assuming it passes testing. But I'd have thought it's being published by Giants anyway, because I think it's their mod. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, uh, from 17. Unless somebody has done something to it and, you know, re-uploaded it or something. I don't know. Well, not really re-uploaded. It's new still. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Let's go over here. The tractor is stuck behind the car, nothing ever changes. And yeah, this field on the left hand side is the field where we're going to be doing the development work. I'm going to be building my new farm in there once the harvest is done. Um, but that will be as soon as I have sold the rest of the farm. So next week, beginning of next week, uh, because we have loads to do. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to pull in here to begin with because I do need to pick up the compact tractor. But I need to take a stroll. If I just put it here. Yeah, if I, if I just put that down. That's good. Yeah, I've been told that there is a brown bark tree with uh, another tree nearby. That Yeah, it could be here. Yeah, look at this. Uh, that's the brown bark tree. <laughs> and the other one is silver birch. So, yeah, I could very easily put an entrance way through here. So, very, very good suggestion there. Don't know exactly who said it, but yes, if you uh, comment down below, I will of course look later and see your username, and uh, I I'll pin your your comment. 
So thank you to whoever it was. Anyway, you can see this is looking neater, but we still have all these bushes and stuff growing out of here, which isn't very nice. So it is time to go and pick up a uh, rotavator. But I don't know, I do not know at all, if uh, a rotavator is going to be enough. Because if it's really woody bark or, or st uh, stems, you know, like a trunk, uh, it's going to be really difficult to be able to rip out of those bushes. So I might have to get a plow or something first and then uh, go over it with the rotavator later. Should be alright. Uh, right, okay, so back onto here. The straps won't do a great deal. Oh, my, my engine is still running. I should probably turn it off first. Uh, that would be a waste of diesel. And actually, yeah, I, I really do want to get a pressure washer. I'll do that first as well. Because that is looking really grubby. Between this episode and the previous one, I have also done a live stream, which you might have watched, uh, where I just got a bit of money for doing some wood chip work and also some other stuff like moving pallets about. So that was nice. Bit of income. Okay, there we go. Much better. That should please quite a few of my viewers. Yeah, anyway, I don't really know if this is uh, the best tractor for doing this with, but it does have row crop tyres. Now I'm going to stop talking, because I know that I do talk too much. It is a habit of mine. So, yeah, let's just go over there. Lunatic! Here we are. I'm looking to start a lawn care business on here. I think it would be a really good thing to do. There's so many properties about with really unkept lawns. You can see they have a super fun happy slide too. And their lawn is just super long. It needs maintenance. So I reckon we have got a potential business that we could set up here. I've done it before on FS17 and 15. So it would be nice to bring back that series. Right, okay, so... Turn the engine off. Get into the good old, uh, what is it, 2032. There we go. And yes, I need to buy this rotavator. I don't even know how, how expensive it's going to be, but I would hope it's not going to be more than a few thousand. No doubt it comes under either power harrows or cultivators. Uh, okay. Right, so it is quite expensive. We've got the the tooth pack roller. Uh, there's also the tube rod roller. And we can customise the colours of those. Between various different ones. Uh, I think just the blue is a bit too boring. So that looks nice. And also, yeah, the black looks pretty good too. Uh, I think we'll go for stainless steel. Might even be stronger than paint anyway. I love how the PTO shaft is just sat there on the implement. So without a drill lift, or with, yeah, definitely without. So yeah, let's purchase that. It should be alright for this tractor, I'm hoping. But you never know. This actually is a fairly big tractor, and that has been, well, that has spawned very close to my trailer. Not to worry, we can still pick it up. So I think once again we're going to drive on forwards, and we'll see about doing a bit of bush ripping out. There we go. Yeah, a bit of overhang. I did want a smaller one ideally, but I couldn't really find any. There was nothing uh, sort of a metre and a half to two metres in width. This one is three metres. But that's alright. I think we can uh, manage it, hopefully. I just realised the master volume was on really low. Uh, must have been because of the previous occasion I was using this tractor. So that should be better, hopefully. And here we are. So of course it's going to be a bit of trial and error. But even if it doesn't work, if it is just a bit too much for it, the rotivator is still going to be required. Because I, I obviously need to break down the soil after the plough or the subsoil or whatever it's going to be. I think the subsoil would be a bit too extreme. 
I don't think many people would subsoil their garden, but yeah, subsoiling a lawn, that would be something new. But yeah, it's it's still um, going to have to be a plough or something. Right. I love the new house though. So nice. It's a really expensive looking property. Okay then, so, yep, let's just try this. Yeah, it's struggling with it. These uh, stems, more like trees. It's going to do damage. So, yeah, if I can get a plough or something in here, just something very small, then that would be good. I'll leave it here for the time being. Okay, see you in a second. I'll see what I can sort out. A few minutes later and I have managed to source this fairly cheap plough. It costs less than a thousand pounds and obviously it's a non-reversible three for a plough. So hopefully I can just sort of go into this and rip these things out. That is the plan at least, so yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll try it. Yeah, it's not every day you're ploughing your own lawn. If I just set that cruise control to something like one mile per hour. Yeah, I'm not really aiming to plough it as such, I just want to rip out the uh, shrubs or the, the bushes. Self-set bushes. I want to dig up the driveway. There we go. And then I'm hoping just to be able to go over this with some seed and also the power harrow. Get it broken up a bit. Should be a good seabed. I want a decent lawn here. I think, you know, the deck should come off. It is dragging a bit. Uh, one thing I noticed with the deck is it seems to have some kind of uh, lighting system built into it, which is uh, interesting. You can see here it's all it's all glowing green. It's a green glow. I don't know if it's coming from the underside of the tractor or what, but it's uh, certainly got some green lights under there. I think that should just about do it. So if I go and drop off the plough over here, I'll give you a bit of a tour of what I've done. It should be right just there, actually. Uh, I don't want to be parked on the ploughed soil. It is a very nice tractor to have. I don't think I could ever get rid of it now because it has just been so useful already. Uh, but yeah, it just needs to be cultivated there, motivated, and as you can see, I've got rid of all these bushes that were here, and the ones which were really close to the house, which were actually unsightly, they were really horrible. Uh, still a few here, but that doesn't really matter because it's tucked around the back near the uh, trees there. So just the ones which were being really obtrusive uh, have, uh, have actually gone. So it's now time to rotate this area and then put some seed in. And of course you did see me take off the deck. It was just not really uh, suitable. The ground clearance wasn't good enough to have a deck on. Right, so obviously we need to put the PTO shaft on as well. There we go. Yeah, so it should, hopefully, till very nicely. Yep, that's looking good. Working very well indeed. So, uh, as usual, I'm going to get all this done quickly. And then hopefully we can get the grass seed to grow fairly fast as well. Almost finished, just going to do the bit right up against the house. Uh, quite a responsibility, although, yeah, I'm not going to sue myself if I do take out a few bricks, so that's good. Uh, and actually, you can see where I've been, you can see all the mulched up pieces of uh, bushes because it's all been just mixed up. I'll just lift up. Got to get through here. 
navigate through the uh, table and chairs and also the barbecue. Because everybody has to drive a utility tractor through their garden. Okay, this could be fun. Move chairs. Okay, that's good. That's that's good enough for me. But yeah, you can see all the uh, mixed up bits of twigs and stuff. Yeah, so as soon as I have actually sorted out the farm, which is going to be built just over there, we're going to be building it from scratch, uh, I will be able to sort out a shed just for the lawn care business, which we're going to have, and then the rest of it can be for the farm. And I've also had some requests as well to have some uh, horses, so that could be fun. And the cows will be transferred across to a new pasture, which I'm going to have just over here. I've just scattered a load of grass seed down, just raked it in a bit, so I'm going to go to bed now. Uh, well, when I say go to bed, I'm going to stop the camera and return in a few days' time. So, yeah, see you in a second. Or for me in a few days. Well, a few days later, and it's a massive transformation. As you can see, it's got a haze of green. Obviously, there's no uh, foliage just yet, like here. Uh, the grass which we cut before has now rotted away. So, yeah, the entire garden's looking neater. Um, we've had some fairly strong winds, so my wheelbarrow fell over. I have to pick it up later. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this looks alright too. So it should all grow and look quite neat. Anyway, that is it for this area. What we need to do now is go over to the farm and do a bit of something more, a bit more agricultural. Yeah, we need to go and grab the baler and get that field of grass baled. But I might be trying out the Massey Ferguson baler since uh, the other one is a bit sensitive to massive swaths, which is what I have gone and done. So uh, I'll see you over there. Now I know that a lot of people, for whatever reason, don't like this cat. I think possibly a lot of people uh, think it's just some kind of made up model. Uh, it's just made out of very square shapes, but actually this is a real model. This is The 75C cat is real. I think it's from the 90s. Uh, so it's just an old fashioned design, but I really do like it. And I'm not just saying that because I have it and, well, some people think I made a mistake getting rid of the fence, but I really didn't because the horsepower of this is still high, and the Fent was uh, obviously a nice tractor, but fairly, it was like the modern equivalent, I suppose. This is just as capable of doing those jobs which that could do, and I managed to get about £200,000 back, so that money is going to go back into the farm in different ways. I can do so much more with it than just having it in one tractor. So, I know a lot of people did appreciate it, but others didn't, so, I mean, you're entitled to an opinion and stuff, but I know that some were... So some of my viewers, probably just a minority, were getting really angry because it wasn't a real tractor and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it definitely is a real tractor. Well, as far as a virtual tractor goes, anyway. Yes, let's get this baler sorted out. Uh, baling technology. I'm probably staring straight at it. Could be here. Yeah, that will help. Okay, so. Looks like a decent baler. Never used it before, though. We have plenty of bales to produce. And, uh, yeah, as I say, the horsepower of this should be more than enough to run a square baler. Assuming we have a PTO. Yeah, looks like we do. Yeah, perfect fit. Interesting, too. It looks unique. Okay, so over to the grass field. Let's go and get this done. Plenty of power. That field needs harvesting, that'll be a job for a stream, uh, because otherwise it's going to take way too many episodes, got to do loads of stuff with the uh, upcoming DLC, and also obviously build the new farm. And building a farm from scratch is a fairly long-winded process, so yeah, we don't really have time to do that within an episode. Anyway, here we are. This is the field, got some massive swaths. I don't know how this baler reacts to wide swaths like these but it's basically two brought into one and the swaths originally were from the chrome big m so pretty big but we'll see how we go i might miss a few bits hopefully not too many bits <laughs> uh missing a few bits right okay yeah, it's just set up as it should be i suppose but even so we're going to get so much out of it it's going to be great you can see they're just firing out the back here so I'll see you when it's done. Enjoy the time lapse.
Well, looking at that, I'd say it's going to be well over 100 bales. It's quite incredible. I don't know how I've managed to end up with quite so many. But, uh, yeah, these all need to be carted over to the new farm. Uh, because when I put them into the silage sausage, <laughs> that's going to become ridiculous. Yeah, silage wrap uh, in, in one long line. It is going to uh, obviously be in the way on this farm. It, so it has to be on my land. I'm going to be selling this. So, yeah, I need to make sure... It is transported. The other good thing is the new farm is going to be right next to the sell point for bales, unless I take it over to the BGA. The BGA usually is much more, much better, um, but yeah, there is at least a sell point right next door if I need it. So just finishing off here, then we can take a look and see how many bales I've produced. Obviously bits are being missed, but that's just because of the size of the swath. I think under the circumstances it's doing alright. It's a big swath. Literally a field of bales. <laughs> yep. A lot of bales. So that is the final bale produced. Let me just drop these uh, last two off. I think it's going to be. There we go. And we'll take a look and see exactly how many I've produced. I know it looks bad with the uh, swath which is left. But most of it has been picked up. And really I don't need any more bales anyway. 139 just today. Just from one field. Well... That in itself is quite an achievement. And look, the cat did a good job. So, do I get a thumbs up? <laughs> Hopefully I do. Because I know I've got a lot of dislikes for uh, buying it before. Maybe it's made you change your mind? We'll see. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.